Ehang VT30 has a better range than its competitors, Joby and Archer. Like electric car, range is a critical parameter for electric aircraft. According to data from the web, Archer's range is 100 km, Joby is 241 km. This is anticipated maximum range. Joby expects its average flight length in urban air mobility operations to be just 42 km. Ehang VT30 range is 300 km, the highest. Some users have doubt about VT30's range. Here is a quote from a user. By the way did you analyze the VT30? I do not believe 300 km range. Competitors with more propellers for horizontal flight like Archer do only have 100 km range. Ehang does not explain why the VT30 with less propellers should have more range. Is it due to new battery technology? Otherwise more capacity means more weight. So I believe more and more that Ehang is not honest. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah, it is good to be critical. Currently, we do not have the facts to draw conclusion. So we may discuss based on information we have at hand. The range is much related to aerodynamics for the flying object. The two important parameters are lift and drag. Vertically, the lift allows the object to overcome gravity and float in the air. Horizontally, the drag is air resistance for the moving object. An aircraft is moved forward by its propellers and faces air resistance or the drag. In general, for better range, we want to increase the lift and reduce the drag. There are other two parameters that also affect the range. They are weight and thrust. The weight is related to materials. We want to use lightweight materials to build aircraft. The thrust is related to and produced by propeller motor and battery. Here we will ignore thrust and weight as the materials, motor and battery are from external suppliers and are not unique to a particular aircraft maker. We will discuss lift and drag only. To increase the lift, we may use bigger wings. With smaller wings, your arms, you may fly like this. With bigger wings, you glide like this. Nature has produced excellent glider with big wings. Here is the Archer aircraft. It has wings comparable to regular airplane. The lift and gliding capability is expected to be average. The body looks like in between a regular airplane and a helicopter. The drag reduction is expected to be so-so. For Joby, the wings appear smaller and may consume more propelling energy to provide the lift. The aircraft looks bulky and less streamlined. The drag does not look better than Archer's. Compared with Joby and Archer, Ehang VT-30 has huge wings with sexy sci-fi look. The extraordinary wings may provide excellent lift and gliding capability. This is expected to save energy to support the upward lift during flight. The aircraft has less cross-section area and is extremely streamlined. The drag reduction is expected to be superior. In conclusion, VT-30 appears the best in terms of lift and drag. This will improve the range greatly. If Joby has a range around 240 km, we can comfortably believe that VT-30 can have a range around 300 km. Here is the three in the same window. Which one do you like? Thanks for watching. This channel gives you latest info and updates from China sources on Chinese stocks and technologies. Please subscribe.